This is the Casella CEL633 Type 2 sound level meter. Once you open the box, you'll notice there is the accessories checklist. You go through the checklist to, to see if you have all the equipment on the checklist. You'll also have a small packet over here. It will include the certificate of calibration. Uh, you'll need to scan the certificate, both the pages, and send it to me so I can um, keep it for my records. You'll also have the CD, but you won't be needing this since um, the Eco Rental Solution people will be downloading all the data. You'll also have the sound level meter itself, along with the microphone and the windshield. They, they also provide a calibrator with, along with different types of batteries, the USB, and the cord for the computer, which we do also do not need. So, first thing, you'll attach the microphone to the sound level meter. You'll look for the red dot on the microphone, and it'll go to the front of the sound level meter. You attach it on. I'll click in and the first thing we want to do is do the calibration after every lab that we go through we'll want to recalibrate it once to do that we'll turn on the sound level meter by pushing the red button it'll take about 10 seconds for it to start up you can get your calibrator ready this is the calibrator you put it on the side So once it starts up, it will display a graph like this, and that's how it, that is the main screen. You'll want to go to the menu, you go to settings, and check the calibrations reference level. It should be 114 dB, which is fine. You'll escape out of this, back to the main screen again. You'll attach the... Um, the calibrator onto the microphone as such, all the way in, and you'll click the on button right here and hold it until it turns green. Once you do that, you notice on the sound level meter, it will ask you to calibrate. You'll press the check mark. It'll take like three seconds, and then once it's passed, it's calibrated. You can turn off the calibrator, remove it from the sound level meter, put it away, and exit. And that's how you calibrate the sound level meter. In order to start the reading, you'll attach the windshield onto the sound level meter. You'll press the start and stop button once you press the start button once, it'll ask you if you want to record notes. You'll just ask, uh, uh, exit, and it will start the reading. You'll notice in the upper right-hand corner that there's a timer going, and it will go until two minutes, and then restart back at zero. Right when it hit two minutes, we want to press the stop button. This will log the data and the average LEQ value for the two minutes. We can uh, stop this early by pressing this. It'll say stop run and it'll show you the summary screen. This will give you the start date and time and the duration of the run. For this one it's only 36 seconds. So if you press to the right you see the period. Usually it will be a two minute period. But in this case it's 36 seconds again. You might get multiple periods if you record it over two minutes because every two minutes will make a period. You'll press on the view button and it'll give you these four values but you press on it one more time it'll give you the graph. You go to the left side you notice the column, the bar, all the way to a. We'll want to get the value for LAEQ. And that is the value of your run, 60.3 dB.
you'll record this onto the map and onto your data sheet. And then you'll just escape after you're done, after you record it. Escape, escape, and then go back to the menu and you'll start the you'll start the next reading the same way until you get your 15 readings at each lab. One thing you might need to change when you first get the sound level meter is you go to menu, go to settings, and then go to the middle, measurement control. You can, can select here and then select the first icon, which is data sets. It should be set at periodic, uh, periodic at two minute intervals and at profile at five seconds. Sometimes the intervals for the periodic um, measurement screen will be one minute or five minute. Let's set it at two minutes so you can get a data point at each two minutes. Once you do that, you can just exit, exit, and go back to the main screen as usual. And that's all. That's how you do a measurement point.